We are at Patricia Fields Art Fashion Gallery on the Lower East Side. And uh, here to kind of walk us through is the fabulous Michael Robinson. How Hello. are you doing? I'm well, thanks. How are you, Tim? I'm good. What do you What do you do here at uh, Patricia Fields? So I've worked for Pat. Well, I've worked for her for probably about twelve years. Or so. uh -huh. I started oh, wow. when she had um, her big famous store on the Bowery. Yeah. Which closed yeah. in 2016. Uh huh. Um, right about that time is when she started. She closed that store, and but she wanted to do something that was still creative, uh -huh. but not quite as commercial. Let's say. So uh -huh. She started the art fashion concept, and uh, we've been in this little gallery space ever since. She <laughs> definitely hit the mark here. She this did. is amazing. And the thing I love about this is that she's included other artists. Yeah, well, with with a similar taste or flavor. It's to true. Her. Uh -huh. You know, I think a lot of people don't realize the roots of the art fashion for Pat really go back to her days when she had her uh, boutique on Eighth Street. Oh, uh -huh. a famous Eighth Street uh -huh. store. Uh huh. Right. I mean, she had. Keith Haring painting things yeah. in the store, Jean-Michel Basquiat. Oh my god. So artists have always kind of... Yeah, because they were all in the neighborhood. They were all, yeah. you know, the East Village kids. Yeah. And um, so art has always been a part of Pat's philosophy, uh -huh. her uh -huh. fashion, um, you know, point of view. So we, when she started this in 2016, it was really just distilling that down to basically art fashion. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. started as... Um, it really started with about six or seven artists, mostly local, that mm -hmm. were painting on upcycled clothes. Uh huh. And um, one of which was Jody Morlock here. Jody, this is yeah, Jody's line. Jody. Jody goes way back. Pat's known her since she was a young, a young kid. She worked at Pat's store. Uh huh. I think back, starting back in the seventies. Mm hmm. And um, yeah, well, can you show us maybe one yeah. or two of those? The also, oh my God. That is so fabulous. Jody takes really that amazing, so fun, um, upcycled vintage pieces, uh -huh. and then um, all the painting is hand done by her. Wow! Oh my God, that is so fab. And then let me show you some others. I mean, it's hard to choose a favorite. But right, this, right. This uh -huh. one's pretty great. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. And then we've got shirts. People always come in here and they say, do you have anything for men? We do. Uh-huh. Oh my god, I love that. For the adventurous man, anyway. Yes. <laughs> and of course, we did yes. our mannequin yesterday, and this is also Jody. Not the tool Love story. her. Yeah, these shirts, I don't think are really for the construction worker. Uh, no, there's maybe a few. A well, that's few true. Out there that we see from time to time, but it's not uh, it's not business as usual. These bucket hats are all I hers love too. Them. These are great. Oh, these are all Jody. These are all Jody. Uh huh. And this jumpsuit up here which is uh -huh. on the wall. Fabulous. Yeah, I love her work. Um, this oh, designer, yes. Stud Muffin NYC. Oh, Stud Muffin, Stud okay. Muffin, yes. And uh, he, used to, he used to work and sell his creations in Pat's store on the Bowery as well. Okay. Um, and, you know, his work is it's all hand done. A lot of stud wow. things these days, they use a machine. Right. You know, it's mass produced. Uh huh. He um, is local here in New York City. He studs every single garment, every stud by hand. Wow, my God. Look at this. Oh, my God, these shorts. Oh, that's incredible. And then if you want something more for it's February now, but come come summer. Yes. Lots of studs for the stud. Studs for the stud. <laughs> if you want to show even more skin, we can get even skin. And there you go. All right. For those backroom action. Yeah. <laughs> And then, I mean, this is actually, this is cool. This is a collaboration. I love piece. this. So this is a collab piece between Stud Muffin and these pink lips. Oh my God. Uh, these pink lips, her name is Iris Bonner. She's uh -huh. from Philadelphia. Her brand name is These Pink Lips. She did the painting on this. Oh my God, that's so cool. And then Kyle did the stunning. Oh. So some of the pieces in here that's are great amazing. because a lot of times the artists, when they you know they form relationships with each other, they'll do a collaboration piece and then uh -huh, it just right. kind of, you know ups the ante even more. This was um, a vintage Marc Jacobs jet uh, oh, vest that wow. Kyle studded. <laughs> and then Those you know, are we've really also got his little sleeveless hoodies and uh -huh. sweatshirts that do well. Nice. I like those, yeah. yeah. Wearable. Uh-huh. 
right next to Kyle, switching complete gears, whereas Kyle is obviously his signature is the stud treatment. Uh -huh. Then we have Kiss. It's Kiss spelled backwards, sick. That's okay. S-S-I-K. S-S-I-K. And she works uh, primarily in silicone. Oh my god. So this all gets, it goes on I'm in a mold what? as a liquid and it hardens into like a rubbery Interesting. Material. I just want to try. Oh my god. And what, is that shorts or what? This I can't is tell. a tote. Oh, it's a tote. Oh, how fab. Yes. Oh my god, that's hot. That's very cool. Yeah, she does great work. She lives right around the corner. Uh-huh. Oh my god, I love that. Oh god, those are so cool. Yeah. It's almost like an extension. It's like painting, but her medium is a little, you know, unique and different. The yes, silicone absolutely. is not something you really ever see. Uh-huh. But it's very signature to her. Absolutely. And now everything in this boutique is, are originals, is that correct? Yeah, our philosophy is really everything, we really focus on one-of-a-kind pieces. Uh -huh, one of a if kind, you buy yeah. something here, you're not going to really see it wow, anywhere else. Nice. We, can, uh, we create things on a commission basis for certain clients. If, uh -huh. they, you know, if they like one of the artists in particular, or they see a work of that artist's um, artwork, and they say, hey, can you commission me a jacket right. along, in that sort of aesthetic? Yeah. Um, a lot of times we'll create custom pieces for clients as well. Uh -huh. So, But everything is definitely one of a kind, nice. even really down to the vintage. We recently uh -huh. started a vintage department, and... Um, you know, it's all pieces uh, going back to the 70s, 80s, and 90s, designer vintage that yeah. you're not going to see anywhere else. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, this is great. Oh, God, I love that. Yes. <laughs> that is, oh, that's so creative. That's just so cool. Yeah, she's done pieces for Lady Gaga. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, a lot of the uh, RuPaul's Drag Race girls uh -huh. custom work yeah. for them. Yeah. This bodice uh, dress up here is pretty amazing. That is. This was in our last runway show last September. Wow. Backless. Oh, that's gorgeous. He's a downtown. Scooter LaForge is, oh, I mean, at this point, he really is a downtown artistic fixture, yeah, in New York. But our relationship with him really goes back to when Pat had her store on the Bowery. He was one of the first um, consigners on the at the Bowery shop that had um, paint, hand painted clothing in the store. So when Pat closed the Bowery and started this art fashion concept, he was really probably the first artist that we had on board. Uh, maybe a couple others along with him, um, but Scooter was, has definitely been with us here since the beginning. And so I want to show you a couple of his pieces. Um, this is a good one here. This is this is very Scooter. These lab coats with creatures on them. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, this one I like. This is... You know, his work really has sort of like a sense of humor to it. Right. Um, and, and sort of that grungy downtown sort of aesthetic. This one is great. The Joker. That's the original Joker. Bye, Denny. Uh, let's see, what else here is great? I mean, all Scooter's pieces are great. He really has a signature look that has, you know, lasted in time. This is one of his Cyclops shirts. And, you know, Scooter does really well, too, because even though it really is unique, I almost split fine art from a, from a gallery boutique perspective, his prices are great. You know, you can really, you can, you can buy a work of art for not a lot of money for, with, with Scooter. Here. Uh, oh, and then this one's great. This is one of his, one of his blazer. Yeah. Yeah. This is just a small selection of scooter. I mean, his work sells. He brings us more pieces as he's inspired. These jeans here. These are great. And then he also did. I love. Where is the Chanel skirt that he? You know, he found these vintage Chanel skirts, and then he, you know, went to town on them, <laughs> made them unique. Where, was, where are we going next on the tour? Um, so next, I wanted to show you some pieces from Dope Tavio. Um, the designer's name is Octavio Aguilar. We met him 
I believe it was 2017 or 18, 2017, when um, we were doing a pop-up shop in Miami for Art Basel. And we met Dope Tavia when we were down there. And he, that's another example of how we've just sort of organically formed new relationships with new artists kind of as the years have gone on. Um, and he joined the family uh, after we met him in Florida. And so this is his rack. He, unlike some of the other artists here, he's not a painter. He's, a, I would say, more of a bespoke, one-of-a-kind, um, cut-and-sew designer in, in the more of a traditional design sense. Um, his work is avant-garde, very eye-catching. Let me take, what's a good, oh, here, look at this. We'll start here. Oh, my God, I love that. This sort of classic white shirt with a distressed ruffle detail. Right now, he's in a very black and white mood, which is chic. Chic and eye-catching. His silhouettes are amazing. This shirt here. And actually, this is... A dress. And let's see, we have some jackets from him as well. This one's great. Once he applies his treatment to it, it almost, I don't know whether to call it a jacket, it starts to defy subscription, uh, you know, um, description, because his silhouettes are, you know, they're very unique. They don't necessarily fit easily into one category. What's this piece here? This parka. Is that, I can't, I can't. Oh, is it too dark here? Is that, is that a jacket? This one is, yeah. Okay. Yep. I couldn't tell if it was a jacket or like a throw, like a, something you would put around your... It's whatever you want it to be. Right, exactly. And then, we're, oh, here, we had some these little t-shirts from him that he oh sewed these little mini garments onto the front. Uh-huh. Let's see what else. Oh, I love this one, too. This one is, uh, you know, oh all mesh. If you want something a little more revealing. Oh, and then you know what, since we were talking about Iris before, I was showing you that collaboration piece that Stud Muffin and Iris did. Um, this is some brand new work that we just got in from these pink lips, Iris Bonner. She sent these pieces up to us from Philadelphia the other day, we just got them. And uh, also you can see this coat here that she did on this mannequin. The hat, which I might have to buy for myself. Pussy Not War. I don't know if you can say that on UBC TV or not. You can say whatever you want. Her work is very pop, very colorful, but it's also, she's got a real uh, female empowerment message behind her behind her work. Where's the, oh, this one I love. Kiss My Ass. Kiss My Ass. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that amazing? I love it. Around the way, girl. Black girl magic. Oh, and this needs a moment, too. This piece here. I love art hose. They're all so colorful and so, make such a statement. Yeah, they really do. Iris has been around since the beginning. Like I was saying, Scooter had his work in Pat's shop on the Bowery. Um, that's where we also first were introduced to Iris. She was painting shoes and we had a series of t-shirts from her and hand-painted items. And so after the store closed, Iris was one of the original artists that stuck around with us for art fashion. Yeah, and she's really great. Well, um, this little space here, this art fashion gallery, we've had this since 2018. Mm -hmm. We're on the Lower East Side at 200 East Broadway. Okay. We're here Monday through Saturday, so we you don't need an appointment. We welcome people to come visit us anytime. Pat's usually here with us um, on any given day. Uh, but we're also online. We have a clientele that um, we have people that aren't in New York City. We have clients really all over the world. So if we're if you can't make it here to the gallery, you can also go to patriciafield.com. Okay. 24-7. Okay. It's always open. Yeah. 
And um, you'll find things online too that you may not see here physically in the gallery space because we do a lot of made to order work as well. So we have creations from the artists that are pictured on the website that if you order it, we may not have it here in stock, but they will literally hand recreate pieces for clients based on ordering. So yeah, check us out online too. My name is Michael, Michael Robinson, and um, I'm the manager here at the Art Fashion Gallery. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Tim.